Hi, Taurus. This is Kelly from Mumpai Tarot. This is your um, April, <clears throat> excuse me, 2018 love and general tarot reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Uh, if they don't, just check your other signs. So what I'm going to do is start with love, and then I'm going to use uh, try to pick up on energies for your overall general life reading. Uh, if I need to clarify, I'll pull clarifying cards, but for work, you know, um, family matters, things like that, but it's kind of infused with a little bit of everything. So we'll get started with your reading. Um, so your overall energy for love, you've got the six of pentacles. Okay. So there's this, um, kind of like giving rec reciprocity type of energy happening in April. Uh, somebody be, could be giving to you, there could be a, a nice back and forth type of energy with someone that could be occurring during this month. Almost as if, you know, you could be giving yourself to others more and receiving in abundance the same back from other people. Maybe you are opening yourself up more in April to try to reach out to others. Your past position, you have the three of wands. So you were making plans. You've put energy out in the past and you were waiting, uh, kind of like this waiting energy, waiting, you were waiting for something, uh, something that you had spent a lot of time and, and, um, energy in. You were waiting for that to come around or to come back to you, or there was just this energy of kind of, um, you know, you see how she's holding that light. It's almost as if, you know, she's light. It's like a beacon. Like she's, she's lighting the way for someone who can't see their way back to you. Okay. For some of you that you may have been keeping a candle in the window, so to speak, uh, waiting for someone. I actually just feel like I want to clarify that and see if anything comes out for that. Like what exactly was Taurus waiting for? What was Taurus waiting for in the past? Oh, and now you have the two of wands. So They're not telling me, you know, you know what you were waiting for. This is a card about progress, making plans, putting things into action and, and waiting for a return on that. Okay. So here's your current energy here, the six of swords. So this is a card about necessary transition. It's not always a card that feels good. Um, there's something that's currently happening in April, a uh, change that you need to make. Okay. And it's challenged by the four of cups and the four of cups is indifference. So I feel like for some of you, you may not have gotten what it was that you were waiting for. And it may now be time for you to actually walk away. And it's hard for you to do that. It's difficult for you to put on your poker face or put on your game face and, and just, you know, hide your emotions. Um, but it, it, it may be something, it's kind of like not getting that closure that you were waiting for, that you were hoping for. Maybe you had reached out to someone from your past, hoping to hear back from them and they never gave you an answer or they never, you didn't hear from them again. And, and that, that can be, that, that's tough. You know, that's tough because you, you have to console yourself with that. You have to basically give yourself the answer that uh, you need in order to get, gain closure. Okay. Um, and, and so I feel like for April, this is a necessary change. This is something that you need to do now. Uh, you need to accept that something has ended or something is over, or even if there was a goodbye, um, it's time to move on. Okay. So, the, so 
will you move on? I, I don't know that, you know, that's entirely up to you. And it's truly not for me to say. Um, but the energy is there for you to begin to acknowledge that maybe it is time now. Okay. The page of wands is driving you at this time in your life. So this is trying to, as I was saying, there's reciprocity in April. So th this card is, is speaking to me in the sense that you need to start reaching out to people. Okay. Um, <clears throat> not always the cards will give me the direct meaning, but sometimes I will feel something else. And I feel like when I look at her in this card, she's playing that flute. And to me, it just felt like she's summoning. Okay. And pages are always about messages. So I feel like you're, you're in this place now where you don't want to be alone or you don't want to feel alone now. You want to start reaching out to others. Okay. Your thought process you've got, you know, in your mind, what's crowning you is some anger about something, of course. And if that's, if that's having to do with something that some closure you never got or something that you waited for and it was difficult to deal with, uh, it's, there's, there's still that anger in your mind and, and that's, you know, that's perfectly okay. Um, because you can channel that into being successful. You do have a lot of supportive energy coming to you in the near future with the five of pentacles. Always to me that when you're feeling left out in the cold or you're feeling lost or alone, there's going to be somebody there to hold your hand through this transition that you need to make. Uh, some of you, some of you could be dealing with, uh, a Leo. There could be a Leo who is supportive to you, um, or Libra. I wonder if they will tell me. I'm just curious. I like to clarify sometimes because uh, I just want to know. So the five of pentacles, who is the supportive energy or, or what is the supportive energy? Uh, well, they're just giving me the nine of swords. So they're, they they do not want to tell me. It's just basically in times of stress and anxiety, there's going to be this support around you. Now, you have the sun in the position of you and in your advice. So this is open yourself up. Okay. Be go out in the sun. I don't know where you live in the world, but if you, if we are dealing with, if you're dealing with some pretty yucky weather and you don't have any sun, <laughs> I don't know, go stand by a fire, find the warmth, find the warmth, because look, you see that she's, She's dropping her swords. She's dropping, the fight is over. The battle is done. She's heading towards the light. She's not there yet. The clouds are opening up. The sky is parting in front of her. But here it is. So keep going in that direction. Keep going where it's warm. Maybe you need to take a vacation somewhere where it's warm. Okay. Um, you also have the seven of pentacles in the position of what's in your environment and maybe someone else. So I don't feel though it's someone else. I just feel that the environment is around you. Some of you need to get back to work or take an analysis or an inventory of, you know, what you've done in your past. Okay. Um, to ask yourself, are you happy in your position, in your job? And, and so some of the generals is, is sneaking into this, but are you happy with where you are? Okay. Are you going to continue doing the work that you've been doing? Is this okay for you? Do you love it? Um, you're not, I don't see you really needing to make a decision about that right now, but questioning the energy surrounding you for April is, you know, to start asking yourself, look at where you've come from, how far you've come, where you are now and, and what you want to do now. Okay. Some of you may be hoping that, uh, you will get into a relationship again, or there'll be marriage. Some of you may want to, you know, join a community, religious community, or some type of, um, maybe some of you want to go back to school. Um, some of you may have fears about all of that as well. And that's okay. These are your hopes and fears. I 
I know some of you want to, you know, find out if you've got a particular person coming back into your life. I don't feel like it's really time for that in April. I feel that you've got some things that you need to move on from first before you can begin anew. And whether this is a new job or going back to school or getting involved in other things that would bring you peace of mind, I feel that's the focus for you in April. Absolutely. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here as your outcome along with the Empress. So there is a new beginning, a new you coming, and it's a favorable time for you to embrace that. Okay. Some of you may be taking a trip. Maybe you're going to see a relative who's having a baby or a, a, a mother, maybe going to see your mother. You're going to see um, someone who's currently pregnant or just had a baby, or, you know, uh, some of you may be thinking about that for yourselves as well, depending on your age, of course. Maybe you have a daughter who's, you know, expecting. Maybe you'll find this news out, and so now a whole new process in life is starting for you. Um, or you could be taking a trip somewhere or coming into a lot of money that gives you an opportunity to read vamp yourself. Some of you may want to get some cosmetic surgery or get new hairstyles or, you know, do new things, rebirth yourself to start over. Okay. Um, now if some of you are dealing with an air sign, maybe a bit younger, or you have that person on your mind, this knight of swords energy, uh, they're significant in some way, but I, I oftentimes feel like a knight is a is a bit more of energy. But if but if for some of you you are dealing with that person, um, I just want to feel see you know th this could be somebody that's going to help you through. So this would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this could be someone that's going to help you through uh, or help you with getting closure on something in your life. And here's the Ace of Swords. So this person could be bringing you some truth as well, helping you to overcome um, some obstacles through talking things out with this person. Okay. Or that's just the energy for you now to, you know, have a fresh new beginning to clear your mind, to get to the truth within your head about, to clear the fog. The, the Ace of Swords cuts right through, cuts right through the fog. There's no... There's never, it's clear truth. That's what it is. And whenever problems or issues that you are dealing with mentally, um, the truth will come out to you now about what direction you need to go, where you need to go, what you need to do. I feel like for most of you, I mean, there's a lot of supportive energy around you, but you have some things that you need to get cleared out of your head your mind or your head from the past, from maybe something you, you, you need to make a move. Some of you may even be feeling like you need to leave behind uh, old attachments. Maybe you need to physically or make a geographical move. Maybe you need to move. Okay. Some of you may be, may be feeling that way. And, and, and so you have supportive energy. There could be money coming to you that will help you do this. Okay. Um, I feel it's just really about, you know, you moving forward. Uh, and for those of you who are just, you know, well, I don't, there wasn't anyone from my past. I've been single forever. Well, the, the process is just not complete yet because you have something, whatever, if you were waiting, like some of you could have been waiting to hear back from uh, a job, Okay. If, if there isn't anyone in your life and this just strictly pertains to your general overall, you could have been waiting to hear back on a, a job offer or position that you just didn't hear back from. And now with the same energy running through that, it's time for you to, you know, let go of that hope of that job or that, um, it could have been like a dream job or something that you were really hoping for, but you have to get out there now and start sending out your resume or putting out, putting yourself out there to try to attain more leads or whatever it is that you need. Okay. It's, it's time for you to move past that. 
Okay. And really get to get to the truth of what it is that you want to do in your life now. Cause I feel like some of you are just, some of you are just kind of plodding along, you know, trotting along, trotting, whatever the word is. And, and maybe like a, just a job that's not killing you. Taurus, you're so creative and you have so much art, artness, artsiness to you. And I feel like a lot, a lot of Taurus people that I've ever met have always been in careers where they were in entertainment of some form or doing something that is very creative. And if some of you are in jobs that are just day, nine to five, day to day, and they're not fulfilling, it's just, I feel like you have to keep pushing. Some of you could be, you know, working in theater, maybe you were hoping for a part or something along those lines, and it didn't come. And that might have been the that might have been like the the part that you desperately wanted and, uh, or whatever it was, you have to just keep going out there. You have to just keep putting yourself out there because there's many other, there will be more parts and there will be more things that will come along. You know, don't try not to stay stuck. Don't, uh, keep yourself stuck. Keep yourself open, warm, positive about all things in your life. You know, and stay in that warm energy, stay out in the light. Okay. Um, don't let yourself sink because you didn't get something that you were hoping for. It's time now for you to change and, and, and to just move on with it. Okay. Difficult as it is to try to be indifferent about it or just say, well, it is what it is. It's hard to do, but you can do it. And it's hard for you because you're fixed, you're a fixed sign. And, and you know, when something's good, you're just, you want to hold on to that, you know, but that sometimes life doesn't work that way. And you have to, um, well, you don't have to, but it, it's good practice to try to be as fluid as you can uh, to keep moving forward. I feel like things are going to work out for you though. I really do. Um, you have a new beginning happening here. There's an, maybe some new money coming in things will, the wheel is, will turn into your favor again sometime at the end of the month. Um, some of you, as I was saying, if you're an acting, you may even get a position or a part acting as a mother, uh, <laughs> you know, weird, some of the messages that come through, but I'm going to end your reading here for now. Um, uh, so if you wish to get a personal reading for me, just check the description box below and, uh, I will see you guys in May. Okay. Take care. Bye.